Hello everyone, it's Galina and thank you for joining me. Today I will use the same die for both of my cards. It's called dotted square of ram dime and it's a 2 cover play die. First I'm going to cut out the square frame from a white cardstock. You may use scraps or copy paper, because next I'm going to use this die cut as a stencil. I really love this big square pattern and I want to use it with my inks and blending brushes. I pick three colors from distress inks and I'm going to apply them randomly, but one color for each square. I keep on blending it out with a lighter hand to get a light shade of each color. Next I left the die cut as is and I covered the card panel with a square brick stencil. I'm going to use only a small part of the stencil and I'm applying only through four little squares on a stencil. And now I'm applying more ink to create a contrast look on the paper. I'm using the same colors for the each opening. I removed this ink blended pattern and I attach it to the A2 card panel. I cut out one more square frame from a white cardstock and I decided to create another similar card and leave the first panel as one layered clean and simple card. I made the second pattern in the same way, but I attach it on a white card base. And I foam on the die cut frame to add dimension on the card background. And you can see how different they look with the light and dark card bases. On the blog you can find more details and photos of both these projects, link you can find in the video description below. As I kept the first panel without any dimensional elements, I can stamp the sentiment directly on it. I'm using a large stamp with a birthday greeting and Versa Fine black ink. I'm using the stamping platform just in case I need to restamp the sentiment a couple of times. And I want to add two little butterflies on my second card. I stamp the butterfly twice on a white cardstock using Copic friendly Memento black ink. And I'm going to color them with the same colors I use on the card background. I found in my stash light green, blue and dark yellow markers. I don't want to use orange color marker, I think the yellow one will add more contrast on a card. After I'm done with coloring, I cut out those butterflies with the coordinating dies. And for the sentiment I want to use this large die with a Sanx sentiment. It's a coordinating die set for a cup of Sanx stamp set. I cut out the sentiment from a black cardstock and I attach it on the top of my card. To embellish my first card I'm going to use a lot of pearls and I pick some matching colors like yellow, green and light blue. For my second card I use same colors of embellishments but this time I used transparent crystals. I attach all of my embellishments using liquid glue from Studio Katia and my amazing tool embellishment wand. Here's a closer look of my finished cards and I love the both versions of the same technique. I hope you like this video, please don't forget to leave your comments, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification by pressing the bell next to the subscribe button. Thank you for joining me and have a nice day! I will see you next week, bye!